What's going on, Machenga here? A lot of people have been asking me about any new Fire Stick updates. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about the new Amazon Fire TV Stick that was recently announced. I feel like there could be some confusion about this new Fire TV Stick because we expected a Fire Stick 4K model, but this isn't one. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about the all new Fire TV Stick and hopefully answer the question of, should you upgrade your Fire TV or Fire TV stick? Also, make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'll be giving away a couple of the new Fire Sticks. So the hardware and physical design of the new Fire Stick itself looks identical to the previous models. The Alexa voice remote, however, has a nice redesign and some new buttons. The voice button to activate Alexa and voice commands is now blue with the Alexa logo. Next to the microphone here, there's a new LED indicator. Moving down past the play, rewind, and fast forward buttons, we still have the main volume button, but the mute button has been moved to the left of the volume button, and on the right, we have a new TV guide button. Almost all of my family and friends watch live TV on their Fire TV sticks, so having a TV guide button is a no-brainer. We now have these new app buttons at the bottom. I use all four of these services, so it's a nice addition to have the quick access right here on the remote. Disney Plus is the newest of the apps here, and if you haven't tried it out yet, I'll leave a link below to my review of that streaming service. At the very bottom here, it now says Fire TV with the logo. The older remote just had the logo. It would have been amazing if they added backlit buttons this time around, but maybe on the next model. Okay, so that covers the new Alexa voice remote. The contents of the box are exactly the same as what you get in the previous model and in the Fire TV Stick 4K box that was released back in 2018. Now let's talk about the internals and why this isn't going to be an upgrade for everyone. This is the third generation of the original Fire TV Stick. According to Amazon, this model is supposed to be 50% more powerful than the second generation Fire TV Stick. Let's just pause there for a second. The second generation Fire TV Stick was not a 4K model. This information tells you right there that this is not going to be an upgrade from the Fire TV Stick 4K. This brand new Fire TV device can only stream in HD or 1080p. Everyone that's listening right now, if you have a Fire TV Stick 4K, then you don't need to buy this model. I really want to drive this point home. This new Fire Stick does not support 4K streaming. Now, if you have some older Fire Sticks or if you bought a Fire TV Stick Lite last year, this will definitely be an upgrade. If you're not sure which model you have, ask questions in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. You're still going to get the Dolby Atmos, the new Alexa voice remote, and the ability to control the power and volume of your TV and soundbar. The storage is still the same with 8 gigs internal. We still get a quad core processor and the IMG GE8300 GPU inside this Fire TV stick. Each Fire TV stick has a price difference of $10 as you move up in features. The Fire TV stick Lite is $29.99. This new Fire TV stick is $39.99. And the Fire TV stick 4K is $49.99. If you're wondering about performance across the board, both the processor and GPU are the same between this new Fire TV stick and the older Fire TV Stick 4K. For anyone that's planning to upgrade your Fire TV Stick to a new model, this is the one to buy if you don't need 4K streaming support. If you don't care about Dolby Vision, this is the one to get. If it's been a few years since you first purchased your Fire Stick, you will definitely notice faster performance and less lag in navigating the menus with the new model. I'll leave all the links in the video description below. Just make sure you choose the one that you actually want. If you don't care about controlling your TV or soundbar with the Fire TV remote, just get the Fire TV Stick Lite and save some money. We're giving away three brand new Fire TV Sticks, the 2021 release, and it's super simple to enter the giveaway. First, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And last, leave a comment down in the comment section telling me if you plan to upgrade or not. Before we wrap up, I just want to quickly point out a couple of things that would have made this a real Fire TV Stick upgrade for me. It would have been nice to have a USB-C port instead of the same outdated micro USB connection for power. Of course, I wanted a new Fire Stick 4K instead of being stuck at 1080 or Full HD. And lastly, getting an upgrade to 16 gigs of onboard storage versus the same 8 gigs would have been nice. 
but I know the Fire TV Cube is still a big seller, so they won't let the Fire Stick compete with it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, as always, jump down in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. If you want a more in-depth review or if you want more Fire Stick related videos, hit the like button to let me know and also tell me down in the comment section. Well, that's it for this one. If you haven't already and want to show your support, plus you want to participate in the giveaway, hit the subscribe button and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.